Hey everybody, how's life treating ya? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome back to the Russ Robo Channel News for December. Uh, it's almost the end of the year, 2019. Wow, it's almost 2020. I know I look a little bit different without my glasses. Uh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Uh, they got broken the other day, and I, I have an appointment tomorrow to get uh, a new eye exam because it's been over a year. And you got to get an eye exam every year, or, you know, because my eyes change, so I need a new eye exam. Um, there's a, a lot of different things that I wanted to announce in the uh, December issue of this month. A uh, few bullet points I have right here. Uh, let's see. So we got number one. The first thing up is going to try and finish up the Naruto Battle Climax sort of video stuff. Doing all that good stuff and things. Uh, I'm actually glad that I'm making it uh, through the Akatsuki now, into the Akatsuki. Uh, I would have been done if I was better at, um, at uh, what do you call it, consistency. That's a word. Uh, <laughs> it's been, <clears throat> I'd have to say that um, 2019 is definitely not a good year for my channel. It's been a very difficult year, both mentally, emotionally, and physically. And it's actually, <laughs> it actually hasn't been such a great year for YouTube either but then again it hasn't been a good year for YouTube since like 2016 <laughs> uh, so you know um, their YouTube rewind is basically hot garbage um, let's see what else problems is there oh yes uh, they got sued by the FTC uh, and now they have to follow uh, a new well a law that's been around for years that they've just been ignoring let me slow down. I've had too much coffee. Uh, for uh, They've been ignoring this rule for years. They got sued by the FTC, YouTube did, for millions of dollars. And now they have to be more, uh, they have to follow the rule, like, to the letter. It's called COPPA, or the Child Online Privacy Protection Act. It is made so that when children watch YouTube, YouTube is not allowed to show ads to those children, because when you show ads, it generates some sort of, like, feedback, and they get, um, cookies on on computers and it allows tracking for sales that's why you know if you look up certain things like you you watch uh, you look up shoes uh, online and then suddenly you'll start seeing commercials for shoes uh, it's basically so that uh, it protects children from being like targeted by advertisements and by advertisers because they're not old enough to I guess consent to like buying stuff and credit cards or whatever I don't know what the issue is it's ridiculous um, you basically have to label all of your videos now on YouTube as either made for children or not made for children uh, there's drawbacks to both if you label your ch if you label your content not made for children uh, you get you, you uh, if you label your content not intended for children it has to follow a strict set of rules for, like, it can't be too vulgar or anything like that, or it gets demonetized. If you, li if you label your content towards children, like saying it's targeting children, uh, then it gets basically nothing. You can't, it, it will have no comments, comments will be disabled. Uh, it won't be searchable, which means no one will ever see it, uh, unless you send it to them, I guess, or unless they're specifically subscribed to your channel already. Uh, so no comments, non-searchable, uh, you won't get any ad revenue because there won't be any ads on the video at all. Uh, and you can't do any kind of sponsorships or anything. So it's basically, if you had a channel <laughs> that uh, specifically targeted kids, you know, bye-bye revenue. Uh, you make no money now, which is awful. Because, um, uh, like, at the beginning of the year, it was the ad... At the, actually, no, at the beginning of last year and all through this year, it's been the adpocalypse, which basically means... If your channel's too, if your channel is too vulgar, if your channel's not kid-friendly enough, advertisers will drop out and you'll get no money. Now, if your channel is too kid-friendly, um, you don't get advertisers at all. You get no money. It's ridiculous. I've lost a lot of passion, as you can tell, for YouTube, the platform itself. And I don't care if the, I don't care if the analytics hear me say that. I really don't. I really just don't. Um, as you, as, as you can tell, if you press uh, CC or subtitles in your video, everything I'm saying can be subtitled. YouTube does it automatically now. And those, um, those automatic subtitles that are generated also allows them to understand, hear, and know everything you're saying. 
Uh, so the minute your video goes up, if you use certain trigger words, like, uh, well, I probably shouldn't say them, because <laughs> um, that would immediately, <laughs> that would immediately uh, target those trigger words. But if there's certain things that you say, like if you say, uh, if you say anything political or, or anything about um, bad stuff, I, I can't say it. How can you say it without saying it? I can't say it. But um, as, I've, as I was talking about, I've lost so much passion for this platform. But I started it out with just trying to have fun, uh, just trying to you know live the dream, which I found out the dream is not real. It's all a hoax. Um, so many channels now, because of this whole COPPA thing, are just, they're deleting their channels. Uh, they're not uploading on YouTube anymore. They're going to Twitch, or they're going to Facebook, or they're going to Caffeine, or they're going to any other... Heck, some of them even go to Pornhub. I've had friends tell me, Russ, just upload your gameplay videos on Pornhub. They still do advertisements, and it's true. You can still get ads on Pornhub if you upload, uh, like, Let's Plays on there. But, like, who's that desperate to jump ship? Like, that's just... There's just no honor in that. <laughs> I just don't feel like that would be a good idea at all. But um, that's enough of the whole COPPA thing. I hope I explained it well enough. There's tons and tons of videos out there that show, um, they talk about the death of YouTube. YouTube is dead. I probably just, actually you can't say the word died. You can't say died, dead, suicide, uh, terrorist, terrorism, uh, you know, I just use all, I just use all the trigger words. This, you'll never see this video. It'll be buried by the. It will be buried by the FBI. You will never see this video. <laughs> oh God! The, the FBI is currently knocking down my door. <laughs> I'm waiting for him any minute. Um, I'm gonna get swatted. <laughs> um, God, this this year has been so bad for me, so bad for my channel, so bad for YouTube. It's been a nightmare. I, I don't even, I have to get my eyeglasses fixed, I don't even have any eyeglasses. My car's in the shop, it's broke down with a leak, uh, it, uh, a leaking radiator, um, a back window that won't roll up, uh, a check engine light that won't go off because the electronics are all screwed up, so I'm going to have to dump thousands of dollars into my vehicle, which I don't have. Uh, there's probably repairs on my vehicle that cost more than the, the... The, the repairs to the vehicle would probably cost more than what the vehicle is worth, which at that point, normally you would just buy a new vehicle, but I don't know. It's my first car. I've had it since 2009. It's a 2008. It's my baby. I love it to death. You know, you, you, you just can't scrap your first car, you know? It's my first car, man. Um, so I've been going through a lot of emotional and mental stuff. Uh, my job is also in danger, too, because I keep getting too drunk to show up. Um, that's also another reason why I don't upload videos as often as I would like to, because I, I drink too damn much. Um, so yes, I'm a struggling alcoholic. Um, boy, that's not good for me. Uh, this video is not made for children. <laughs> oh god, I hate this so much. What's the next thing? Uh, continuing with Override Mech City Brawl, Arcade and Story. I'm going to switch back and forth between those two. And I was going to uh, continue with... Um, what, it, what do you call it? Um, oh, now I can't remember the name of it. It's that game, it, it's been six months since I even started, uh, oh, Phoning Home. It's been six months since I actually uploaded any videos on that. I don't think, I don't think it took off very well. It's a very slow paced game, no one really seemed to be uh, into it. So I'm going to be looking for new content. I've been taking a look at some of these uh, VR mech battle games. I think I'm going to try to keep this channel at sort of a... Um, an action fighter, uh, maybe shooter type channel. Uh, maybe not first person shooter like Call of Duty or World Hub or uh, what do you call it? Uh, I can't remember the name of the other one. Battlefield, maybe not those. Those automatically get demonetized. But it doesn't matter because this channel doesn't make any money. <laughs> oh, also that's another thing about not making money. Um, in their latest, uh, in their uh, latest, like, Reissuing of the contract, you know how you how you uh, you change a contract every couple of years or every year, and you you say uh, new terms of conditions in our contract. Um, YouTube has always had the ability to delete your channel if it's not commercially viable, but now they're being more forward about it. Uh, they're actually like um, 
It's actually one of the first things you read in their contracts is that basically YouTube reserves the right to delete uh, channels that are no longer considered commercially viable, which basically means if it's not making them money and if it's not profitable, uh, prof profitable, profitable, if it's not profitable to them, uh, they can reserve the right to delete the channel entirely and all of its contents, um, which they've always had that right, uh, and they. But now it seems like it's more of a priority for them. Uh, it, it, it was a nightmare. I saw part of, I've seen bits and snippets of the conference that took place after YouTube was sued by the FTC. Um, the, like, some sort of, um, I can't remember his name, but he was like the president of the company that sued YouTube. Uh, he said, uh, we do have ways to weed out uh, those bad actors. Uh, channels will be deleted. Uh, and he said, the way I, I can't I, don't quote me on any of this. Don't quote me on anything because uh, like I can't remember it exactly. But it was basically um, the way he would. He said the way I would like to. Uh, um, the analogy I like to use is that you uh, is shooting fish in a barrel, where YouTube is the barrel and the content creators are the fish. So you know that sounds awfully threatening. Um, not to mention the fact that if you mislabel your videos, I know I'm rambling. I'm sorry. That's what this channel is. Um, if you mislabel your video as not intended to, uh, for children, and it's obviously targeting children, and they determine that it's targeting children, and their um, their uh, what do you call it? Their analytics, like which is the bots that you know monitor every channel. If if and and, and it's terrible. How do you design? A, just a program, not a person, but a program that analyzes a video to determine its contents and what it's about. And that's what they're doing. They're they're um, they're determining what the they're determining the contents of a video based on what the bot interprets. Uh, it's a machine learning algorithm that just basically tells YouTube what your video is based on the things that you say and the things that it sees. Um, but machines aren't entirely accurate with doing things like that, and they never they won't be for years. They may never be. Who knows? Um, but basically, if the algorithm determines that your video is targeting children, you can be fined up to $42,000. Yeah. So, I've also been terrified to upload videos, uh, a lot like any other creator that's on the platform nowadays. Some channels that do things like Lego builds, um, uh, uh, like, uh, or entirely. Because you basically can't tell the, the algorithm that that content isn't suitable for children or isn't targeting children. It's, um, it's appealing to adults as well, but the, uh, the machine learning algorithm or the bots that monitor your channel are going to determine that that content, because it appeals to children, is targeting children. Which means you'll be either sued for uh, $42,000 Per video, per video, or um, or you can just label all of your content right from the get-go as targeting children. You'll be or or, or uh, and there's that there's that in the middle of my face cam. Um, uh, you can say that it's uh, your ch uh, you can say that your channel does appeal to children, and then you'll make zero dollars for all of your videos and the only thing you could possibly do I don't even think you can uh, yeah you can't even link to a merch site because uh, your your video I don't think you can even have a description it can't have tags it can't have description it can't have, it can't have tags descriptions um, it can't be searchable it can't have comments it can't have likes or dislikes it's just a video that's I've never heard of anything like that. That's not even YouTube. That's not even the platform. That's not even a format. That's garbage. That's hot, stanky garbage is exactly what that is. Your video basically just won't exist. Uh, it's like... <laughs> it's like saving it to a CD. You might as well just put it on a CD and show it to your friends or something. Uh, or put it on a flash drive. That's... That's not even a platform. That's not even a format. That's they've got to fix that. There's some sort of petition out there that went on a, about a month or two ago. I missed it, so I, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even link it in this video uh, because it, it's I think it's already over. But they tried to pass a petition to have the uh, law uh, reviewed on the whole COPPA thing and the way it um, the way it the way it enter uh, the way it 
the way it impacts content creators. I'm not cutting this. I'm just leaving it as is. Uh, that's that's basically all the things that YouTube has been dealing with lately. Um, the changes to this, um, they've already happened, but the in, the enforcement, like for example, channels getting either deleted or sued, uh, that starts happening. Uh, happening. That starts happening January first, which is basically a nightmare because that's right around the corner. Um, so 2019 has been. I don't know though. I don't want to give people like the doom and gloom. I don't want to be like give up hope, you know. Uh, I'm gonna try to make 2020 the best I can uh, if I get the chance. Um, I'm sorry to anybody out there who's actually a fan of a channel that has already stopped uploading content entirely or has announced that they no longer will be able to upload content because uh, I'm sure that a lot of your favorite channels out there have either been um, basically have a, either been basically have either died which I'm, I can't allow to say that I'm not allowed to say that I can't say the word died I have to say unlived or some stupid shit fuck that um, yeah uh, I'm sorry for anybody out there whose channel uh, died uh, or um, got deleted or whose favorite content creator might get sued next month who knows I don't even know if I'm gonna get sued there's a lot of videos out there that I've watched that say um, rip gaming channels uh, rest in peace gaming channels but you see Mark Flyer, Jacksepticeye, and PewDiePie they're still they're, they, they're covered they're still uploading content on um, video games which is great I love that that's awesome I hope they continue and I hope they can continue um, uh, when asked uh, questions about a YouTube uh, one of their sponsors or one of their like uh, I think it would maybe it might have even been the CEO I'm sorry this is running on long um, what was it she said uh, she advised people to get their own lawyers they said whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what should we do like legally what should we do to avoid getting sued their advice was to hire a lawyer <laughs> so yeah it, it was basically their way of saying you're on your own <laughs> Good luck with it! <laughs> Absolute hot, stanky garbage. That is the worst. I mean, maybe they can't help it. I don't know. Maybe they don't have a choice. I mean, they did get sued for millions of dollars, so they're probably hurting pretty bad. Um, I hope this isn't the end of the platform. I'm pretty sure it's not. I mean, there's still stuff on trending. There's still gaming going on. There's still all sorts of stuff going on, and that, that light is bothering me. It's making me noise. Stop it. It's making noise. Um... So I'm going to try to get better with the con whole consistency sort of thing, find new content, uh, finish up the content that I'm currently working on, and try to make 2020 a better year than 2019. Uh, I'm supposed to, you know, I'm supposed to improve the channel, not make, make it worse. Uh, but um, <laughs> I'm glad for those of you who have stuck around, um, you know, even through all these hard times, I haven't lost any subscribers. I'm, I'm still getting a few trickling in here and there. Uh, you're welcome to the channel. I'm glad to have you here. We're itty bitty teeny tiny channel. Itty bitty teeny tiny. But um, it, it's it's still fun to upload. That's the main thing that really uh, bothers me is that I just I don't want to end the channel on a bad note, and I still want to upload because there's a, a lot of fun that I still have with basically what I would consider the hobby of video editing. Um, Video editing, going into the editor, um, putting in special effects, cutting, copying, pasting, and uploading. That's actually the fun part for me, As aside, aside uh, in addition to playing the games themselves. I, I enjoy uploading, uh, or I enjoy editing, mainly because I like to tinker with uh, special effects. And things. Who knows, maybe I'll go to college for it someday. Um, but I'm rambling, anyway. Um, a happy... Merry Christmas or whatever, ha Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or whatever you celebrate this month. Uh, you know, ha have a happy holidays, as they have to say. You gotta be all p uh, PC or politically correct nowadays. Uh, you know, you, like, I, I, I like to say Merry Christmas or, or whatever. I don't have to say Happy Holidays, but, but, you know, Happy Holidays anyway to whatever you're celebrating this month, and uh, hopefully you have a great new year. Uh, that's about all the time. That's about all the time I have left for today's video. I hope this answers any questions you that you might have. I'm gonna try to make some more videos for the week and um, maybe try to shorten them down so that I can 
be more consistent with my uploads. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully YouTube will be all right in 2020, and uh, I'll keep my fingers crossed you do as well. And um, until next time, take it easy, my friends.